Have you ever wanted to add controller support to your game made in Phaser? Are you tired of searching for libraries that don't work? Well look no more. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add full controller support to your game in Phaser. Phaser has native support when coming to controllers. It makes it very easy to hook up your Xbox 360 controller and start controlling your characters across the screen. I will demonstrate this on a game that we have made on our advanced Phaser series. Follow that if you want to learn how to make a platformer game in Phaser. The first few videos are very different from my new ones, but I'm glad you guys are still enjoying them. So without further ado, let's begin. So what we essentially want is to have the left analog stick allow our character to move from left to right, and to jump we will use the A button, so when the A button is pressed, the character will jump up as if we press the space key. Then we want the X button to shoot our bullet upwards in the sky. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is sub some variables. The first variable is going to be our pad. This is going to be the reference to our actual gamepad, or the first one that's connected. And then the other variable is going to be our button A. This is going to allow us to check if the button, is, uh, the button A is actually down. And then we need another variable and call it button X. And then we need two more variables, and that one is going to be jumping, and another one that's going to be shooting. So these two are going to allow us to check whether we are jumping or we are shooting. Okay, so now we can go down in our create function right at the bottom of it and we can actually say that we want a gamepad input. So the way we can do that is say game dot input dot uh, gamepad dot start and that will allow us to give an input through our gamepad. And then we need to choose our gamepad or oh, the first one that's going to be connected. So the way we do that is just set pad to game dot input uh, game pad dot pad one. Pad one means the first one that is connected. You can say two or three if you want to have more than one pad connected. We're just going to have one. Next, we're going to need a callback uh, that is going to check when the uh, when the pad has been connected. So we can say so we can say pad dot add callbacks. And say this a reference to our game. And we'll say on connect. So when the pad is connected, we'll we'll run a function on this dot add buttons, which is just going to set our buttons up and actions and everything that we need. So we actually go down and actually make our add buttons uh, function. So we can copy this and go all the way down. I'm going to go down below my shoot nut um, function and say add buttons um, function, just like we did with any other function. A function and then here we're going to sub our buttons. So first button that we want to sub is button A. We'll say bad uh, pad dot get button. We'll do phaser dot gamepad dot xbox three sixty underscore A. That is the A button. And we'll do the same for the X uh, button. We'll do button X and we'll do pad the gate uh, pad uh, dot get button down and we'll do the same for the X. And now I can do some callbacks for these uh, buttons. So when the button A is down, so we'll say button A on down, add on the function in here. We can square an external one because it's not really going to be long. So uh, passing a reference argument as the last parameter. And then we need to set our jumping to true because that's what we want to do when button A is down. So we can say jumping equals true. And uh, we can uh, say the way we're going to set jumping to false is we're going to do it when button A is let go. So we're going to say button A dot on up is going to be set to false. So when the button is released, it will set to false. That means we won't be jumping anymore. And we're going to do the same thing uh, for the X button. So we can just copy paste all of this and replace all of this with X and change these to shooting. Okay, so now we need to check whether our analog sticks are to the left or to the right, so we can actually decide uh, where our player is moving. So here we are setting our uh, controls the right is down. We're going to say um, if the right button is down or those two lines are all, uh, pad the axis uh, phaser dot game pad dot xbox three sixty uh, underscore uh, stick. Uh, left, I'm saying the x-axis is uh, bigger than 0 0.1, so that's kind of the dead zone, I guess. You can experiment this value and change it to your liking. I found that 0 0.1 is the best one to use. So uh, we can do the same exact thing for the left. So 
Let's say open axis uh, cell left um, do is smaller than uh, minus 0 0.1. So that will work. Now our uh, now our analog sticks are actually going to be moving our player. So all that's left to do now is checking if we are jumping. So we can do the exact same thing and say if controls are up is down and or we are jumping, not and. Those two are or. And we'll do the exact same thing for shooting. So if uh, our shooting button is down or, um, or we are shooting, which gets uh, set down here in the add buttons. Um, so here we can see we are saying jumping to true when the button is down. Or saying it's false when it is up and same goes for the shooting so now if we jump into the game with our gamepad and use the analog stick we can move around and using the a and x button we can move and shoot so that was pretty much it thanks for watching and goodbye if you found this tutorial helpful please leave a like and subscribe and if you are feeling a bit generous please drop by my patreon and support me thank you Thank you.